Coco, Candy, Bailey, Cherry, are the new members of the 2030s generation of My Little Pony. Uh, oh wait, then then they're not. Wait, what is it made from? Wait, it's made from Jack Specifics. Huh. Well, it's Generation Four for them, I guess, in a way. What up, everypony? It's me, Elusive Al here, and I'm here to give my early two episodes short review of this new horse show called Wild Mains. So, Wild Mains is a show that is made from Jack Specifics, and it's written by Sheila Rogerson, who has also wrote the likes, and I can't believe I'm uh, saying this as I'm mentioning this on my notes. She wrote the likes of uh, Little Bill. Harry and his bucket full of dinosaurs, Maggie and the Ferocious Beasts, and Max and Ruby. I mean, just from those shows itself, they are highly praised from the fandom. The description of the show reads like this. Ride into Wild Mains, a whimsical world full of girls' favourite things. Food, friends, flair, and fun. These adventure-loving horses are the centre of Main Lane with their colourful manes, shop on wheels and signature styles. Be part of their friendship and wild adventures this summer of 2024 with the launch of the Wild Mains animation series and Roblox game. Oh yeah, I did play a little bit of the Wild Mains game on Roblox, and I do like it, but if you see my second episode reaction to the show, I've explained that I was playing the game on my phone and the phone system function in the game doesn't really seem to work out. Oof. The show consists of mainly four characters, but we have seen horses appear in the background including Finley and Perla, but apparently they are not on the poster shot. But we have Coco, Candy, Bailey and Cherry. I'm going to call this now. I'm telling you this now, every pony. I am telling you this now. These four girls are going to be the new Elements of Harmony Society Group of 2030. Calling it now. I am calling it now. Let's focus on the first episode of the new show when it was called Heard It Wrong. We start the episode off with a subscribe bar. The end. We see Coco, Canley, Finley, and Bailey chasing after Cherry. Coco stops for a brief moment to deliver the first fourth wall break of the series, telling us... Bet you're wondering what's happening. Let me catch you up. We cut to a title card. We see Coco having a busy morning preparing caffeines in her cart to the horses of Main Street. Finley was indecisive of decision while Cherry gets her usual order in. Suddenly, she gets a phone call from some pony to say that an order had came in, but the conversation sounded like Cherry was going to leave the town, which made Coco very concerned and tells Finley about it. Elsewhere, Coco and Finley tells Bailey the same dilemma, and her response was... Surf and saddles! We then shift to another scene with the same dilemma, but this time they tell Candy about it, and just like how a vlogger or an influencer would do, she cries about it at first and documents her feelings onto her phone with the selfie stick! I mean, it was weird enough to see ponies in Generation 5 have phones themselves, but now we are documenting our feelings in wild mains? Also, also, she is literally the pit petals of the group, which I have reiterated before. We then jump back to the first scene of the episode. At this time, Coco tells us viewers that we have officially caught up. Coco and the group then reach Cherry's shop and tries to persuade her not to leave the town. Cherry was shocked at first, but told her friends that she was leaving to pack an order in for her macarons. Everypony is relieved and the episode fades to black. Now, I thought this episode was good, but I think it could have been better in the way of the character's views of points. What I mean by that is, during the scene with Coco and her car, we see a random horse in the background just casually drinking her drink. Coco could have addressed her before getting her attention towards Finley or turned to her during the conversation with Finley. Now, I think Coco and Cherry have become my favourites in this episode, and my favourites in general of this series so far. Mainly because why? Coco has got this big ball of energy in her and she's literally like the Lincoln Loud of the group from Loud House. It's just speaking to his viewers to break the fourth wall and I just love those fourth wall breaks. Keep it up, Coco. Keep it up. Cherry, on the other hand, is sweet and thoughtful for the others. Although her full cabaretry could have been different during her call. But she then fixed it later and showcased how considerate and caring she is towards her friends. 
overall, I think this was a good start to the new show, but maybe could have been produced better.